Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn how to use include and exclude matrix configuration. So let's start. So as you can see here, this is a repository with the name sample workflow. And in this session, we are going to learn include and exclude matrix configuration. So let's start. So this is our workflow that we have uh, learned in previous session. And in previous session, we have learned this matrix. And in this workflow, we have learned different operating system with different node versions, right? So as you can see here in workflow, we have three different operating system, Mac OS, Windows, and Ubuntu. And here, I mentioned three different node versions, six, seven, and eight, right? So if I run this workflow again, then uh, now our job will run nine times right because these three operating system uh, sorry these three node versions and this three operating system right that means our job will run nine times okay now if i want uh, here in this uh, workflow sometimes we don't want to run any specific version of any specific operating system then what to do here suppose if i don't want to run windows latest on windows latest i don't want to run this node version 7 then what to do so here the option is exclude matrix configuration so how to use so let's start so first of all here i'm going to enter exclude exclude tag then colon and after that your operating system right then enter operating system that you don't want to run so here i don't want to run ubuntu ubuntu latest and on ubuntu latest version i don't want to run the new version is Okay. After that, if you want to, if you don't want to run uh, another operating system and another node version, then you can measure number of operating system with number of node version. So let's enter one more. So second operating system is Mac OS. I don't want to run Mac OS. And for that. Six. Okay. So here, as you can see here, I don't want to run this Ubuntu latest with node version seven and then Mac OS with node version six, right? Now, if I run my workflow, then, then here our job will run only seven times, right? These two operating system with two node versions will be ignored. Okay. Now, here, the another, another uh, tag is include tag. So let's mention here, include colon. Then operating system. So here I'm going to use Ubuntu latest. And after that, function. node version and after that here I'm going to use one to eight then colon one to eight I'm going to enter a value true okay and after that here I'm going to create one more environment variable using env tag and my environment variable name is one to eight and in this, I'm going to use matrix, con uh, context matrix, right? We have learned that context, mat context matrix, matrix dot, and then our one to eight. Right. Okay. Then now, now what will happen in your inside 
uh, in inside of our matrix context. So we will have a new variable which is Ubuntu 8, right? And this will exist only when the job is running for Ubuntu latest and node version 8. Okay. Then after that here, I'm going to print. Okay, so now this environment variable will be set to true only when we are running our job for Ubuntu and the node version is 8. Okay, so let's save the no. Now let's push the code into our repository. The command is git init, then git add dot, then git commit hyphen m and in double quote our commit, so our commit will be exclude in field. And in last, we push. Okay, it's done. Now go to the repository and go to the actions. Now, as you can see, here, our workflow is in progress. So here is our matrix workflow. So let's click on. So now, as you can see, here, its status is queued. So you can see, here, as I told you, our job will run only seven times, as you can see. Here. So for job, it succeed. Uh, then three is remaining so wait for a few seconds okay it's done now as you can see here we have only seven jobs as i told you why because here in exclude we have mentioned Two operating system with two or uh, two versions that's why these two versions will ignore that's why here we have only seven job right okay now after that in include we have mentioned this ubuntu latest and the node version is eight and here true right that means this environment variable will be set to true only when we are running our job ubuntu and the node version is 8 okay so let's check so here is mac os latest 8 so let's check so now go to the after setup node version so as you can see here, there is no any true value because it's eight version. Okay, let's go to the Ubuntu eight. Six. Right, it's eight. Okay, now go to this after setup no version. So let's check. Now, as you can see here, the value is true because its operating system is Ubuntu latest and the version is 8. If I go to this Mac OS, so there is no any true value. If I go to this Windows uh, node version 8, so obviously there is no any 
true value let's check as the windows latest and the version is it see there is no any true value right so that's include and exclude that right so in this session we have learned how to use include and exclude matrix configuration so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops hint channel